Hi, I'm Chef Meg Galvin with Spark Recipes, and I want to show you a great soup today that's going to give you 25% of your fiber intake for the day in your soup, plus vitamins A and C. And it's just a great soup because what makes it great is that we're going to use a fall um, winter, actually it's called a winter squash, it's a butternut squash, but it, we generally harvest it in the fall months. But we're going to add a little bit of summer because we're going to add some orange juice and some coconut. So it, it's great for these cold months that the fruit, the vegetables in season, but we're going to remind ourselves about the summer. So what I'm doing is I'm just taking down the squash. Now what you're going to do is, is cut it off at the neck. So I've already cut the neck off here. And then just use a knife, but make sure that you cut off the end so you have a flat surface to work with. The skin is very tough and you never want the, the, it to roll and you to cut yourself. I don't even recommend with the older ones using a peeler because I think then you could nick your knuckle. So then you're going to want to cut this part in half and what you're going to see is you're going to find the seeds. Now, don't throw the seeds away. What you can do, go ahead and reserve them for right now, but you can toast these guys and they make a great little accompaniment to a salad or, or a soup. You can even put them on this one. So you're going to roast those. So what you do is take out the inner flesh where the seeds are and then you're just going to cube the squash. Now, I have a couple different varieties. I have the acorn and then I'm using the butternut. And then we have a spaghetti squash here as well, too. Spaghetti squash is great because once you cook it, it really does look like spaghetti. So we're just going to pull out the inside and cube it up. So we're going to come over and start looking um, at making the soup. Now what I did is I just roasted the squash in the oven for about 30 minutes at 350 degrees. If you want to, you can uh, cook it in a microwave and steam it. So it's really, it's pretty versatile on how I just like... I think with the, with the oven method, you do get a little bit of caramelization on the fruit, and I think it just, or excuse me, vegetable, I think it just adds more depth to the recipe. So what we're going to start with is about a tablespoon of olive oil, and I love this, this type pan because it provides real even heat, and then we're going to start with about a half to three-fourths of an onion, and you do want to dice that down pretty small. Um, Try and use a white onion or a milder onion, and sometimes even with this recipe, what I like to use is a leek because it does, it's not as strong. So we're just going to get those cooking, and then the squash, which is basically cooked, we're just going to add it in and kind of move it around. So I'm just going to let that sit for just a second, and I want to show you the garnish, which is really what's going to bring the soup to a different level in a blender. You just take about a whole bunch of cilantro. Now, you'll see sometimes people will refer to cilantro as coriander. What happens is the cilantro will seed out to coriander, but there is a little bit of an inner change with the definitions, and so sometimes people will say, use a coriander leaf. Well, they mean cilantro leaf. So the whole bunch of cilantro picked, and then unsweetened coconut, so that's that, that summer flavor. And then I have one orange juiced, but I'm only going to add about half of that right now, and the segments of an orange. And then we need the zest of an orange too. So just make sure that anytime you zest an orange that it is peeled, and then just use your zester right over. And then you're just going to run the fruit right over. So this is going to be great. And then what I would just recommend is just start with half of the orange juice, because you might not need it all. Kind of let it go. Because we want this a little bit solid. So that was a good call because I don't think I need all the orange juice. So I want to show you how pretty this is. If you want, if you're not trying to restrict your sodium, you could put a little bit of salt, but that's what we're looking for. That's really pretty. You could put a little bit of salt in with this. So let's come back and look at the actual soup. So now we're going to come in. To make this vegetarian, I'm going to go ahead and add a vegetable stock, four cups of vegetable stock. If you have chicken stock on hand and, and you don't mind it being non-vegetarian, that's fine too. So it's a pretty quick soup. The, the type of soup this is is what's called a pureed soup, which means the thickening agent is the actual vegetable, not flour or starch or arrowroot. And this recipe makes serving for eight. 128 calories per serving. So I really, I'm, it's almost, it's a meal to me just to eat this. So bring that together. And then the great tool, the immersion blender, we're going to go in with it. 
just to puree the soup. Just be careful when you do this that you don't wear the soup. I'm gonna tilt the pan a little bit. Now what I like to do with this soup, and you can go either way, is something that's called a partial puree. I'm not gonna puree it all the way down because I kinda like to still, you know, have a little bit of bite to the soup. But if you want, you can go all the way down. And again, just start out with a little bit of stock and you can always go back in and add more. And I think I'm gonna end up having to add some more because you see how thick it's gotten. So you can always add more. It's kind of hard to take away. Ah. Okay, that looks good. Now what I'm gonna do is probably just give it a stir. Um, it's a nice thickness actually right now, but I think I could go in with a little bit more. So then just keep it on the stove for about 10 minutes just to heat through. And my stock's hot, so actually this is hot enough. And I just want to show you how you're going to garnish the soup. So remember, I'm going to do like what's called a partial puree. So come in with the soup into your soup cup. So this is a really pretty soup that would be nice for a dinner party or just home. And actually it freezes well too. And something else that I like about this soup is you can use it in other recipes to thicken things with. So then we're just gonna come in with our pretty little garnish just to give it some added color. I hope you enjoy this. You can look at sparkrecipes.com, look up the soup. It's butternut squash soup.